It is important for you to understand how to set the sensitivity adjustments for your gate opener because it is the primary safety control designed into the control board. The gate 1 and gate 2 sensitivity adjustments are located on the left edge of the control board. The adjustment dials control the amount of pressure the gate can apply to an object before the gate will stop and reverse direction. If the gate senses an obstruction, it will reverse direction. If it senses a second obstruction before reaching the fully open or closed position, the gate will shut down. And the pre-installed entrapment alarm located in the control box will sound. The entrapment alarm will continue for five minutes and then shut off automatically. If two obstructions were detected and the control board has shut down, you will have to press the reset button to reactivate the opener. You'll need a small flathead screwdriver to make the sensitivity adjustments to your gate opener. If your gate stops and reverses for no obvious reason, turn the dial clockwise to make the gate less sensitive. Remember, if you only install one gate, then adjust both the gate 1 and gate 2 dials to the same setting to prevent a false trigger. You can refer to your owner's manual for more detailed instructions on adjusting the gate sensitivity. You set your open and close limit adjustments in much the same way as your sensitivity adjustments, but those dials are located here on the control board. Now let's take a closer look at how to adjust the open and close limit switches on your control board. Now we're ready to adjust our limit switches. We're going to press the open close command button on the board and that's going to start our gate cycling to the closed direction. We're going to let it travel all the way until it reaches the factory preset stop point, which should be well shy of how far we really need to go. About that angle right there, 70, 75 degree angle is where we're going to be with the factory presets. Now to get it to go farther, I'm going to go to the gate one, close limit adjustment, and I'm going to turn my dial to, towards more. And I know I need to go quite a ways out, so I'm going to actually go about four full notches on the dial. And now I'm going to bring the gate back about a second or two open. I can stop it and now go back towards closed. And we'll see how far we go now. And I'm almost there, but not quite. I need to go just a little bit more. So to get just a fine adjustment, we're just going to turn it a tiny bit, not even half of a notch on here. We're just going to turn a tiny bit, open it back about two seconds, stop it, and close and see if we're there or if we've gone too far and as it turns out that's just perfect so I'm going to leave it right there. Had I gone too far I could back it the other direction and open and close it until I got it right where I wanted it to be. Now that your gate opener is installed and set, don't forget to put up your safety signs. We have provided these for your use. Mount the safety signs on the inside and outside of the gate area so they are clearly visible. The Sentry Control Board is capable of operating two gates and will handle all of the wiring for your accessories. You'll need to refer to the owner's manual for detailed instructions on how to set the switches and J2 pin functions on your control board. 